I just felt like a big door had shut and life seemed to have ended. It sort of came along every two and a half years and, and bit me and put me in hospital. You go down a very, very steep slope at a very quick speed and you feel like the world is, that's it, nothing else to live for. My wife suggested that probably coming here would be a good thing, so she brought me down here. When I came, it just sort of felt like the right place. Ecotherapy essentially is activities outside in nature um, for all sorts of vulnerable people. It can be working on a farm, it can be conservation activities, walking in a park. Uh, essentially it's structured, regular, facilitated programs um, for vulnerable groups. Ecotherapy really works. It's about getting people out into nature, uh, experiencing the outdoors um, and being part of activities outdoors that improve people's physical health and mental well-being. We've got a lot of good evidence to show that people coming to us early in the stages of their mental illness can really help them and prevent them perhaps deteriorating further. People come to us uh, through a variety of, um, of ways. Um, they can self-refer, um, but more typically it might be through the community uh, mental health team. Um, GPs can also refer to us. When patients get involved, they are getting fresh air and exercise. They're encouraged to eat more healthy. When they're here, they're not sitting at home. They come back and they, they walk through the door and often they just walk through the door like a different person. I think the key notion for me is that people get engaged in something and so people come to us and they've been unwell and, but they've also been socially isolated and be, by being with us they're engaging in a community, in a community of activity. And also in a lot of the projects you leave the diagnosis at the gate um, and that can be incredibly powerful when you're trying to include people back into society to help them feel normal again. Reflecting on the last six years of pollen I would say that um, we have really supported people to have a better quality of life and that might mean savings for the taxpayer in terms of people not claiming benefits, maybe moving into employment, maybe a reduction in medication and also a reduction in the number of GP appointments and hospital appointments they may have to make. For the 246 participants who found full-time work, uh, we can forecast that the savings to the state for just a year uh, would be of about £1.46 million. Pounds. EcoMinds does not only increase the well-being of participants to the program but also uh, actually saves money to the state. I've been to about a dozen of the ecotherapy projects over the course of the last couple of years and every time I've asked someone what they've got from it they've told me how much they've enjoyed the work but also how much they've personally been able to gain from it. That's got to be a really important message for commissioners at a time when commissioning person-centred services is so crucial. This isn't just about a grand idea, this is about an approach that really can change people's lives. I, I don't think I'd be alive if it weren't for this project really. I would have gone back to taking heroin, in which case I'd be dead now. I was looking for a purpose in life, I didn't mean anything to anybody. It gets you out of the house, gets you into the fresh air. It just gives you a sense of inner peace. They've got it mate, they've got the answer. These sort of places should be all over England.